Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. We're here at the Lars Training Center. We're going to talk about the FT combination boiler navigation of the display. Please remember, anytime you're servicing or replacing a component on a piece of equipment, turn off the power and gas prior to servicing. Uh, there are four screws that hold the front cover on, two on the top, two on the bottom. We've removed those screws for the training for today. Simply going to lift up the cover. Okay, now with the cover removed, uh, I do have the power on to the display. What I want to talk about is the buttons. So the lower right hand button is considered our central heat button. And again, this is a combination boiler with an indirect tank. The top right hand button is our domestic setting. The lower left button is our power button to the display. And the top left button is our mode button. The first thing I want to do is remove one of the outdoor sensor wires. And the reason that is, <clears throat> is if we get into setup for central heat, very simply by pressing that symbol, it's showing the defaulted setting of 120 degrees. Well, with the outdoor sensor hooked up, we cannot adjust that set point. So, I'm going to power off the display, and I will remove one wire from our outdoor sensor. I'm going to remove the plastic cover here by pulling forward and dropping it down. Now with the sensor removed, I can repower up the display. It's going to go through its synchronization process and we'll wait till it gets to the home screen. Now from the home screen you'll see our setting right now. This is our water temperature in the boiler. It is reading roughly 80 to 82 degrees. We have our outdoor symbol for our outdoor sensor blinking. That's telling us we do not have an outdoor sensor installed. Now we can get in to set up central heat. The thermometer symbol, right here, the lower right button, press that once, and it'll show our defaulted setting of 120 degrees for central heat. Um, you can adjust this to your system, so if you have uh, in-floor radiant, maybe you only want 120 or 130, um, hydro air, you may want 160, or baseboard heat on the coldest day of the year, you may want 180. So for this example, I'll set it up for 180 degrees by uh, adjusting the dial. Once I get to 180, press the select button once, it stored it, and now I'm back to my home screen. Next thing we're going to do is set up our domestic hot water. Now please keep in mind that the domestic hot water is defaulted for 125 degrees. You can adjust that temperature to 120 or up to maybe 125. Uh, however, you don't want to get into adjusting this temperature too high and putting somebody in a scald condition uh, such as 130 or 135 degrees. So I will explain that in a second. Very first thing we're going to do is the top right button, the faucet symbol, press that button once and there is our defaulted setting of 125 degrees. You can adjust that down by scrolling down to 120, setting it, or in this example I'll say 116. Press select and now I've stored 116. To go back and double check it, we hit the faucet symbol. If you now don't have enough hot water, now once we're in the mode you can readjust it but we'll only get to 120 degrees. To get around that, if you need to go a little higher, such as 125 or 126, start from the home screen, press the faucet symbol once. With our faucet symbol now appeared on the lower left corner, press and hold that symbol one more time. Now that will allow us to come in and adjust the domestic temperature high. In this example, I'll bring it back to 125. Now that I'm there, I can press the select button, and now that will store it. I'll double check it by pressing the um, domestic button. Okay, so now that we've set our central heat set point and our domestic set point, we need to get into the installer parameters and adjust our outdoor reset curve. Um, they're already defaulted, so you can customize that to your region. So, the very first thing I'm going to do is press the power button and turn the display off. Now I'm going to press and hold the mode button and wait for the screen to liven up. So, now 1EH has appeared. I know we're in the staller parameters. The very first thing I want to do is scroll to 6OH. That stands for the outdoor high temperature. 
All of this information is in the manual and the startup guides. Now with my Outdoor High or 6OH, press the select button and now I can adjust that. So in this case I'm going to use 68 degrees as my example. Adjust it to 68, press select and I've now stored my Outdoor High. I'll explain the Outdoor Reset Curve in a minute. Now that I'm back to the screen where it's a 6OH, turn it once, 7OL. That stands for the Outdoor Air Temperature Low. So, I press select, and in this case, I'm going to adjust that to 10 degrees of outdoor air. Now that I'm at 10 degrees, I'm going to press the, the select button again, and we'll store that. Now what I want to do is I want to scroll to 15 OF, and that is the off point. That is a warm weather shutdown. Press select, it's defaulted for 100 degrees. In this example, I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down to 70 degrees of outdoor air. So at 70 degrees of outdoor air, if somebody turns on a thermostat, the heat will not come on. I've adjusted it down to 70. Press select, and now it'll store it. Next, I want to turn the scroll button to 16 CH. That is our central heat high. Okay. Uh, it should be defaulted, so 16 CH, press the select button, it should be defaulted for 180. However, if you've got radiant, uh, in-floor radiant, and you don't want that temperature to ever go above, example 130, very simply turn that down. This is for the central heat only. Make that adjustment, press the, uh, the select button, and it will store it. Uh, for our example, I'm going to bring that back to the 180. Click OK. And next, I'm going to scroll to 17 CL. That's our central heat low temperature. Okay, uh, I will adjust that to 120 degrees. Okay, very simply by using the scroll button, adjust that to 120 and press OK. Okay, so this slide is showing at 10 degrees of outdoor air, we're achieving 180 degree supply temperature out of the boiler. So anything below 10 degrees will be able to deliver 180. Uh, anything above 68 degrees will only deliver 120 degrees, which is what our low set point is for central heat. Okay, so now that we've got our central heat set point set, the domestic hot water and an outdoor reset curve, uh, what we're going to do is power off the boiler, uh, reinstall the outdoor sensor, and then you can power the boiler back up and uh, operate the boiler. If you have any questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.